The diagonal relationship. One simple goal for this video, drawing your attention to and explaining why often species which are on a diagonal going down and to the right on the periodic table have similar properties. The diagonal relationship describes the observation that elements on this diagonal going down and to the right have some similar properties. Think about why this trend exists. First, let's think about atomic radius trend. It gets bigger as you go down the periodic table, and it gets smaller as you go on to the right across the periodic table. So going down and to the right yields a situation where run one trend leads to an increase and one to a decrease. This leads to relatively similar values. The same is true for ionization energy. Going down the periodic table, the energy gets smaller. Going to the right, it gets bigger. So going down and to the right leads to similar values. Because the atoms end up with similar values for these properties that we've talked about in all our previous periodic trend videos, they end up having similar properties in general. There won't be any ranking questions for this relationship like the other ones we've talked about, but you should be able to explain why this relationship exists and, and generally recognize it and use it. We've now talked about how atoms, which are on the periodic table on a diagonal going down and to the right, end up having similar properties based on the previous periodic trends that we've talked about. This is due to the competing trends from the vertical trend versus the horizontal trend, which increases in one direction and decreases in the other.